Second last match of bracket B of the Ultimate Absolute NYC. We have Vinny Magalesh fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, taking on Marcus Almeida Bouchesha from Team Checkmat. This is an awesome matchup, which I never would have thought I would have seen at the Ultimate Absolute NYC. Bouchesha has been on a terror since being awarded his black belt last year, winning pretty much absolute after absolute in all the Abu Dhabi World Pros, taking on the world former world champion Vinny Magalesh, who had some amazing high-flying moves at uh, 2009 ADCC. Vinny also a multiple-time uh, national champion in Brazil, Pan American champion, Nogi world champion, and so forth. Bouchesha, world Nogi champion as well, Pan Am champion, World Pro Cup Trials champion. He's won it all in Brazil. Vinny transplanted now, lives in the United States, was uh, contestant on The Ultimate Fighter, on top of Bouchesha now. Let's see what happens. Bouchesha has an amazing half guard here. Vinny, really, really, really submission-oriented game these days. He uh, He's taken off the gi in the last couple of years, really focused on his mixed martial arts and no-gi training, but he's uh, remained you know, true to his grappling and competing in a lot of tournaments like Grappler's Quest, ADCC, and so forth. Bouchesha, very, very calm, very, very young, but experienced competitor who has taken on and beaten some of the top competitors from Brazil and the United States. Now we're uh, in a battle of uh, deep half guard here with Bouchesha on the bottom. Vinny right away attacking a knee bar. Beautiful transition now, switching over to a 50-50 position. Both men locked in. Vinny now looking to get leg lock after look, leg lock, transitioning beautiful here. Bouchesha trying to control Vinny's head and arm so he can no longer attack his legs, but Vinny's got some good distance there. Excellent job. For those of you just watching this video, this is the Ultimate Absolute NYC. We're here in New York City. We have Vinny Magalesh with his back facing to the camera, taking on Marcus Almeida Bouchesha, one of Brazil's top competitors. This tournament is so sponsored by Cerberus NYC. This is the first tournament of its kind, the Ultimate Absolute NYC. 16 men, 16 of the top grapplers. Bouchesha flown in all the way from Brazil. Final day's notice. Came to take on and throw his hat in the mix, looking to get that $10,000 prize. Switching up. These guys have their legs intercrossed crazy here. Vinny looking to get the leg locks. Bouchesha trying to just control Vinny, it looks like. Maybe trying to come up on top of his own. Vinny made himself very famous from the Ultimate Fighter, as well as some beautiful flying arm locks he pulled off in the ADCC 2009. Bouchesha last year won every single World Pro trial from Vegas to Jersey to San Diego to who knows where. Bouchesha was on a roll. And I believe he also did very, very well at the World Championships, the Mundials. But this is no gi. When the, the gi's off, things change. And... Vinny Magalej, known as the one, one of the top competitors, getting a reversal here, coming up on top. I'm not sure if they're going to score the two points or not. But both gentlemen stuck in the 50-50 position here, looking to get an advantage. Vinny constantly falling back for those leg locks, looking to get that $1,000 submission bonus. If he secures it, He's a win at $1,000, no matter win, lose, or draw in the finals. Every submission by every competitor gets 1000 bucks by the promoter. Beautiful tournament being put on by promoter Rob Constance and uh, the company Cerberus NYC. First tournament of its kind. Be on the lookout for more to be coming from the Ultimate Absolutes. Once again, Vinny able to get on top. Still got that 50-50 position. Both men tied up with their legs here. Bouchesha, very, very calm. You know, for a, a first year black belt, doing a very, very relaxed job, controlling Vinny with the bottom. It was one of, one of the, uh, the reasons the 50-50 was created. 
But Vinny looking to attack any single limb that comes at him, looking for an arm, looking for a leg, looking for a toe hold. Anything that he can grab, you know, you know Vinny Magalesh is going to try to snap it off. Bushesha trying the fit, nice sweep here from the 50-50. Vinny doing a great job of balancing off. Excellent job. Very, very technical position. Sometimes people declare this position very boring, but uh, we know that uh, some of the more popular competitors like the Mendez brothers and Coprinia have been able to adapt this position and make it very, very exciting transitional position as well as getting submissions from here. The big difference you'll see in this competition is the heel hook, which is illegal in BJJ but have been allowed for this competition. So the risk factor in the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu with the Gi, as well as the BJJ tournaments without the Gi, is, uh, is a little higher here in the 50-50 because you can heel hook. You can do toe holds, I believe, either way, making it very, very difficult to stay in this position. But Bouchesha doesn't look like he cares at all. He's being very relaxed, even with Vinny attacking his legs every, every few seconds here, it looks like. Bouchesha doing a very good job of controlling Vinny's hands I guess trying to prevent him from attacking those legs, getting both hands on one limb. Once again, Vinny going for a toe hold. Vinny's got both hands on. Bouchesha's hands are not doing anything to defend. Let's see if Vinny can get the submission here. Looks like there's some risk here. Bouchesha looking eager to escape. Vinny's got the toe hold. Can he secure? Both men rolling on top. Vinny doing an amazing job, almost busting the leg of Oh, it looks like we got an injured leg here. Vinny Magalej gets the submission. Hopefully, uh, Bouchesh is not too injured here with this submission. But once again, you give a limb to Vinny Magalej, you got to expect it to be taken home back to Vegas. And your winner and the $1,000 bonus goes to Vinny Magalej.